Let's convert the number 7.75 to a fraction. Here's how we do that. So what we want to do first is have this as 7.75 over 1. It's still 7.75 because we're just dividing by 1, but now we have the start of a fraction. I can see that I have 1, 2 places after the decimal point. When I have two places after the decimal point, I'm going to multiply by 100. Because when I do that, I'll end up with a whole number. So I take 100 times 7.75. And when I do that, I end up with 775. So I have my whole number. But I can't just multiply the numerator here by 100. I need to also multiply the denominator by 100. That's because 100 over 100 is just 1. 100 divided by 100 is 1. It means we're multiplying by 1. We don't change the value, just the way we represent that. So 100 times 1, that equals 100. And now we have our fraction. The decimal 7.75 equals the fraction 775 over 100. But we need to simplify this to lowest terms. Let's do that. So 25 will go into 775 and 100 evenly. So 775 divided by 25, that equals 31. And then 100 divided by 25 is 4. So the decimal 7.75 equals the fraction 31 over 4, 31 fourths. This is an improper fraction because 31 is larger than 4. Our numerator is larger than our denominator. So let's change it to a mixed number. 4 goes into 31 seven times. 7 times 4 is 28, and we have 3 left over. Just bring the 4 across. So if you wanted to have the fraction 31 fourths as a mixed number, it would be 7 and 3 fourths. This is Dr. B writing the decimal 7.75 as a fraction. Thanks for watching.